So guys, today we have details on the multiplayer side of Cyberpunk 2077. These details come from inside the game files where data miners have found files which directly reflect the multiplayer side of the game with features as to some of what we can expect including modes and more. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Cyberpunk on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. Also guys to give back for the amazing support on my cyberpunk videos I'm giving one person per week the chance to win any game of their choice. To enter simply drop a like on this video leave a comment down below make sure you're subbed with notifications turned on and good luck. Last week's winner can be seen on screen now hit me up on twitter or discord link below if this is you. So this information comes directly from dsogaming.com where they state their source wants to stay anonymous but said the files you can actually check for yourself if you play on PC by examining the game's executable file. So what was found? Well, super interesting things people and I'm quoting the website right here. The game's executable file so far has two distinct multiplayer game modes. The first one is called Heists, whereas the second one is simply Deathmatch. The Heist mode seems to function closer to a standard single player quest, along with dedicated functions with editor helper descriptions such as Set Heist State, Set Spawn Tag that will be used to spawn new players during the mission, Spawn Tag Percentage Per Second, we also have some additional related functions, MP.Heist Debug Message name change, mp.heist message player ready, mp.heist.set player character class which may imply multiplayer is focused on a more strict character class selection which is pretty cool to think about people. Then we've got join the heist, left the heist, character.cpo moppet solo, character.cpo moppet assassin, we've got netrunner techie, we've got a lobby, the cpo heist started, character.cpo moppet default along with others we've got waiting for player, waiting for additional players, match starts in so many seconds, respawn in so many seconds, match ends in so many seconds and game finished. We also have waiting for players, high starts in, waiting for players to get ready, duplicate characters selected which should probably insinuate people you may need certain people selecting different roles and these roles are set by maybe your character class, respawning player, waiting for players to get ready, press down on the d-pad and x when ready, using the debug menu to switch your character, player is dead, heist ends in and victory. We also have players in gather area waiting for other players, go to the gather area and this seems to imply that players spawn either in free roam or away from location where heist actually begins and need to group up there for it to begin. There are also files which refer to like a scoreboard, we have player name, kills, death, status, ping and id and they're going to state regarding the deathmatch mode here are some more of its functions. Players join the match, killed, you sent yourself directly to hell. Please don't come back. Wow, you've killed yourself, bravo. Your bullet was stronger than your self esteem. Your shot destroyed your own body and soul. You sent so and so directly to hell. Wow, you killed so and so without compassion. Your bullet was stronger than soul's head. Your shot destroyed so and so's body and soul. So and so sent you directly to hell. Wow, so and so killed you without compassion. So and so's bullet was stronger than your head. So and so's shot destroyed your body and soul and allowed joining progress DM. Furthermore, it states the game may rely on P2P connections and may not have dedicated servers. They state going by the scraps, it seems that the game targets purely peer to peer connections with some host authority. So, really interesting, guys which is pretty cool people but that's what was found and some really interesting things to speak about. Now a heist mode could be in numerous different things, we know GTA 5 has a heist mode I believe, I haven't played it myself, in GTA 5 though it's I think it's 4 player corporate experience and it gives players a chance to team up and pull off a string of intense multi part heists and raids, robberies and so much more. Anything like this would be absolutely amazing people. The one you also state that's been found is deathmatch. Just could just be a certain portion of the map, every man for themselves, maybe set teams going up against each other, I mean that would be pretty amazing. What I'm really hoping for though if I'm completely honest would be a co-op playthrough of the uh, single player campaign, I mean it may not never happen, I mean we do know that uh, the multiplayer side of this game is supposed to be a standalone project, but seeing as multiplayer files have been found within the game files of the single player game, they will definitely be linked somehow. 
But yes, this is super interesting, guys, and I cannot wait to find out more. Now, I'm pretty sure they did say that we will get more details within quarter one of 2021, so more details will come very soon indeed. But what we have here, people, are data mine files which are in the base game you are playing right now. Like I said, a multiplayer mode called Heist has been found, and also Deathmatch. I am more so interested in deathmatch right now as we know the details, well some of the details of heist but it is going to be good. But guys let me know your thoughts on this down below within that comment section. What do you want to see from the multiplayer side of Cyberpunk 2077? Let me know down below within that comment section and guys the end of the video has arrived. Just a short one giving you guys the latest news on this game if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more cyberpunk on a daily basis be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video i upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one